been wanting to get back into my prayer closet. It says in Matthew 6, uh, 6, and it's captioned, How to Pray. It says, When you pray, go into your private room, shut your door, and pray to your Father who is in secret. And so I, last week, I posted a video where I decreased my screen time, and I did that by, instead of just scrolling randomly on YouTube Shorts or uh, Snapchat, I listen to Street Lights, which is an audio Bible app, and it's very cool. Or I listen to worship music, Christian rap, stuff like that. Just trying to get off my phone. And I did feel a lot better, I will say. And so I'm going to try to kind of carry that into this week, but then add praying 30 minutes in the secret place. And if you don't have like a literal closet, just it says like shut the door just basically have no distractions and spend time with the lord something i'm adding to it is i'm going to be writing out my prayers i just find for me that helps keep track of like what i'm praying for i feel like lately and maybe like the short form content has been adding to this i'm just thinking distracted and like i will start praying and then i'm like well i can't really think about anything else or like i touch on that and i just leave it at that so i'm praying for like a lot shorter than i would like to be i just want to be like spending time focus on the lord does anyone else have this issue where they decide to go shopping or thrifting uh it's not like grocery shopping usually it's like i'm shopping for fun and i have to go to the bathroom so bad number one to be clear why is that why does that happen and the thing is i could i could go to the bathroom there's a lot of businesses around here that have bathrooms <clears throat> excuse me i could go but i feel like for some reason it helps me to be an efficient decisive shopper because I don't have any time to mess around. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, decision, decision. Do I like this? Do I like it not? Do I not like this? Do I like this enough to wait in line? Nope, I probably didn't like it that very much. Do I like this enough to risk it, uh, like, trying it on and it not working? That one doesn't really make sense, but you get what I'm saying. Boom, boom, boom. We don't have time to waste. We gotta go. <sighs> it doesn't, it takes the, like, leisurely enjoyable aspect of it but it makes me feel like i am making good good fast effective decisions i don't know if that makes sense to anybody else i don't really enjoy it but i feel like that's what's happening but now i'm like i actually have to go pee so bad that i might have to just go pee before and all of this was a waste of time i'll let you know i'm just gonna go to the bathroom all right i'm going to the bathroom i don't care i'm so dumb I had no idea what time it was. It's almost six. It's like 5.52. <laughs> and the thrift store closes at six. So not only do I have to go to the bathroom still, I didn't even get time to thrift, which really my plan would have worked about boom, boom, boom. But it's just like eight minutes is like not enough time. And as I was walking in, the guy turned off the open sign. I'm like, are you guys closing right now? He said, oh no, eight minutes. I'm like, you're closing right now. So that was um super super fun glad i drove over here to do this but now i think i'm gonna go buy half and half to make i've been making my own or that sounds like i've been doing it for a long time one time i've made a coconut creamer at home with like sweetened condensed milk coconut milk sugar all the other stuff and it was very good so i'm gonna do that again and that's what I'm gonna do, but I have to go to the bathroom. Why do I never look at the time like ever? Especially if I'm going to do something, it's usually this, like I'm gonna go thrifting and I decide I'm gonna go thrifting, thrifting, thrifting at 5.30 and it closes at six or like, I'm like at six o'clock, I'm like, ooh, let's go thrifting and it's closed. I'm like, and I'll drive all the way over there and just be like, of course, I know that this is when it closes, but I don't ever look it up. I don't even consider the time being a factor. I just assume when I go, it'll be open, and that is how it works. And it, this is a reoccurring issue, and we have got, we've got to make some adjustments. So my last video was about like lowering my screen time, right? Well, then I had like um, an event in my life happened that was very stressful, very scary, and then all that went out the window and I, my screen time has gone way up and like have not stuck to like street lights or just reading my bible app like none of that has been a thing um and so I felt like 
what the Lord was telling me through this experience was like, because I just really had to just rely on him basically to survive. Did a couple times in the prayer closet and stuff, but like, that was like my goal that week that I was going to be in the prayer closet and do that whole thing. Yeah. And then like real life stuff happened and I'm like, oh, reserved senior sis and parking. That is not moi. Um, anyways, real life happened. And so I was like, okay, so like, we're not doing that. We're just trying to survive basically. Not that anything like life threatening happened to me. I just like, was like having a hard time. And so anyways, all that stuff went out the window and I was just like, okay, I think the Lord is trying to tell me we got to like change the way we think about not even just my phone or screen time, but just the way I look at life and like my relationship with the Lord. Okay, let me turn off my car. My relationship with the Lord is not just good when I'm being good. Like when I'm just spending time reading my Bible, when I'm in the prayer closet every day, like those things can definitely help. And I think those things are amazing and good for you. But also, if we just rely on doing those things to make us feel good about ourselves or good about our life, that's religion. Like, that's not your relationship with Christ. That's really just religion. Like, if I do these things, if I'm good, then then I'm good. Then I'll be happy. When that's not why we have a relationship with Jesus. Like, life is way more complicated, has a lot more factors than just your routines of how you do stuff and then that's gonna make you happy like no like my relationship with Jesus is a lot bigger than just my time doing bible study or my screen time and I think those things are important I think we should be aware of those things and you know how we could improve them and that those things do affect us like I definitely think being on social media for 12 hours on your phone a day is going to make you feel kind of like crap or maybe make you more likely to compare yourself to others. But it's not the worst thing ever or you're not, God's not mad at you if you do that. God's not distant from you. He's never distant from you if you've accepted him into your life. Like he's always there with you no matter what you're doing. If the, if you're on your phone, uh, just looking at social media or if you're doing Bible study, he's just as with you either time. I do think we do need to be aware of our a spiritual condition in like filling ourselves up with truth because I think that's just helps us keep in perspective like our purpose and also just like the point of life like I think that helps us just be more I don't know just less distracted or letting the things of the world like distract us or make us feel like less than or whatever like those things definitely help, but it's not everything. Like, the routine, the, the like, I don't want to be religious. I don't want to be, like, I have to do this for God and I to be good. Like, when I'm having a hard time, maybe not over those things, he's there with me, supporting me, helping me through. Like, that's how this whole relationship started in the first place, was I'm, like, recognize that I can't do anything. Like, I could not stop myself from being addicted to certain things. I couldn't stop myself from being sinful. I needed jesus's help and that's when he came and rescued me was when i knew i was not capable of it and so i just feel like all these things like i just feel like it was kind of a wake-up call from the lord it's like okay it's easy kind of to do this stuff when everything's going perfect but when it's not like i just needed to rely on him and that's i think a lot of life is like we just have to empty ourselves out and rely on him and that's the only way that we'll like that's the only way this life is fulfilling. If we're just doing it, like, because, like, this makes me a good person. This is going to be, I'll be pleasing to the Lord if I read my Bible every day, if I spend time in the prayer closet every day. That's not what's pleasing to him. What's pleasing to him is having, is humbling ourselves before him, knowing that we need him. And we're not capable of doing anything without him. Does that make sense? I don't know. 